In this video, Denkist Gamer will show you how he made 300 million coins with investment. Before we get started, like the video and subscribe. Only 8% of people who watch our videos are subbed, and it's free to subscribe. Around two weeks ago, I lost 142 mil and was at 174 mil in my purse. It's been 16 days, and I'm now at 205 mil in my purse and around 200 mil in dark auction items. I also have this Griffin loot I still need to sell, so after selling this, I'll be at 450 mil. I did this through long-term flipping and making smart coin investments, which I will teach you how to do today. When finding items to invest in, you need a bit of logic. The L in Dankus Gamer stands for logic, which is why I'm so rich. First, you look at the supply and demand for an item. For those of you who don't know, supply is the amount on the market and demand is the amount people want to buy. If a set of items is directly linked to an event, then it's safe to say that the supply will be cut down until the next event starts. If an item is suspected to be a part of an update, the demand will skyrocket making it a good investment. Occasionally, tons of people realize how good an item is and rush to invest in it, making the price higher. In this situation, you can either follow the crowd or if you already have some of that item, you sell. People tend to highly overestimate or underestimate the peak price of an item and shoot way past the actual value of the item. If prices don't go up, people will start selling and causing the price to go lower. If there is enough demand for an item, you would then buy the item and resell when the price rebounds higher. Remember, buy low, sell high, not buy high, sell low. Investing is hard and requires a lot of logic and brain power. This is why investments that are impossible to fail are great. Some items are backed up by an NPC resale price, meaning that if all fails, you can still sell to the NPC. These include diamonds and salmon, and storing your money in these items is a good way to make very safe investments while not losing coins. Now I'll show you some of the investments I've made, and you can use these as an example to learn how to invest on your own. When the mayor update dropped, I saw it as an opportunity to make big money. With the fishing event active, I invested around 100 mil into Great White Teeth at 1.7 mil per, as they are only available during the fishing event. Then I sold for around 700k profit per tooth. I only did this during the first fishing event, knowing that many people would try it during the second one. When the mining event dropped, I invested about 200 million coins into minerals at 270k per, and sold them at around 400k per. People realized it was a good item to invest in, and the price went to 700k. Now you would think 700k is not a good price to invest in, but little did I know there wouldn't be another mining event for over a month. Now refined minerals are at 1.4 mil. I severely underestimated the peak price of minerals and lost hundreds of millions of coins to that decision. Another safe investment I made was in salmon. When Mini Kloon leaked expertise, I thought a fishing update would release and add salmon armor. I bought salmon for cheaper than the NPC price and stored my money in it, but it was actually the mayor update. I still lost no coins to the investment and actually profited from selling it to the NPC. One day, the price of coal went down to 160k per block. I invested 140 mil into coal before the price went higher, knowing that coal would bounce back to 200k. Then I sold my coal at 200 to 240k. My latest investment involved the new dark auction items. I invested in a hegemony artifact at 76 mil, a Midas staff at 100 mil, and a plasma nucleus at 64 mil. I then sold my hegemony at 100 mil, but I decided to keep the Midas staff and plasma nucleus until the prices rise even higher. As I mentioned before, please don't just copy the investments I made. These probably won't work anymore and when people just copy investments, this leads to a huge demand for an item simply for the sake of investment, leading to a massive supply. An example would be great white teeth during the third fishing event, eggs during pets v2, and griffin feathers during the second mythological event. All of these items were once great investments and when people tried to replicate the investments, the value of the items crashed. Try to think logically for yourself whether or not something is worth investing in. That's all for the video, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.